Welcome back to Ova Magica. Day two of the demo, literally picking up exactly where the first episode ended. So let's continue. Hannah Hannah. Oh, by the way, I realized I uh, was mashing buttons and smashing buttons on the keyboard. I'll try to be a little quieter with that from here on out. Hannah, you're okay. You wouldn't answer no matter how many times I called, so I thought something bad happened to you. I'm so glad you're all right. Gurgle. Oh, it sounds like Loki is hungry. Too bad you don't have any crops to feed him yet. You're going to need to grow some if you want to feed both yourself and your blob. You probably don't know much about how farming works since you're from the city, but that's what I'm here for. As promised, I'll walk you through the basics. Let's begin. Do you want to skip the farming tutorial? Not recommended on first play. We will play the tutorial. We follow recommendations. First off, you're going to need to plant you're going to need plant beds to grow any crops. Good thing you have a few right here. To make them usable, you'll have to remove these dead plants first. You can do that using this shovel. A worn shovel. Go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Dig. Can we? Yay, nice job cleaning out those dead plants. Since you have both yourself and Loki to feed, you should grow enough crops for the two of you. Let's set up more plant beds to make that possible. It read my mind. I was just going to see if we could dig those uh, dirt mounds. Use your shovel to gather soil from that pile of mud over there. Okay, I think I can do this. Nice, you can just hold the uh, F key. All right. Run into the scarecrow. Great work, Hannah. Well, except for the not moving around very efficiently. We can use the soil you gathered to prepare fresh plant beds at your workbench over here. Crafting, farming, crafting. You can use your workbench to craft all sorts of useful things. All you have to do is use a blueprint. Here's one for plant beds. Well, that's mighty handy of you and scarecrow and fats. Try using your workbench to create more plant beds. Put them down by your other beds once you're done. Okay. We need two additional plant beds, I see. So let's uh, use and uh, okay. Sounds good. Add Oh, okay, so we just need to place them. That makes sense. Pretty easy. Escape to close. There we go. Wow, Hannah, your plant beds look nice and loamy. Homey. Uh, time to get planting. Not quite yet. Uh-oh, fertilizing. Hoe. Oh, derp. We need to use a hoe to break up the soil to make room for new crops first. Take this and use it on your plant beds. Will do. Okay, it seems it's already selected from our inventory, so... 
Just one time to hoe. Very good. Can we use the arrow keys? We can. All right. Good to know. And I'm being even louder with the keyboard. Sorry. Maybe I'll invest in a new keyboard uh, where the buttons aren't quite so obnoxiously loud. I'm impressed, Hannah. You made tilling the soil look like a piece of cake. Before planting any seeds, it's important to know that we have three seasons here in Clover Valley. Solus, Ceres, and Frigus. Frigus. Mm, I've heard it both ways. Some plants only grow during specific seasons, while others grow year-round. To reap the best harvest, you'll need to plan ahead. Luckily for you, you can buy seeds from me whenever you want. Oh, you little entrepreneur, you. I offer different ones depending on the season, so I suggest getting them from me at different times of the year if you want a good variety. Thanks for the heads up. Mm-hmm. I brought some seeds with me today just for you. Let's place them in your plant beds. Excellent. Thank you for the gift of the shovel, the hoe, and the seeds. Okay, let's plant them in our plant bed. Um, switch. And plant, plant, plant. Very cool. Perfect. Now that the seeds are planted, on to the next step, watering your crops. It's important to water your plants regularly to keep them healthy. Otherwise, they'll end up dry and withered just like me. Oh, sorry. Just like those poor crops you dug out earlier. The best tool to keep your crops hydrated is, you guessed it, a hose. I mean, a watering can. Yes, we couldn't just run a hose from the river. You can fill it up at the river over there and use it to water your crops. Sounds like a lot of walking back and forth. Yes, exactly my thoughts. You're absolutely right. As your farm grows, you'll need to find more efficient ways to care for your crops. Irrigation, my friend. For example, my mother's turtle blob, Shelly, is a great help with watering our plants. Ah, oh. unfortunately, you'll be doing things alone for a while, but you always have to start somewhere, right? Go ahead and fill up your watering can. Once you've done that, use it to water the plant beds you just set up. I think uh, this is a game I would definitely be switching back to controller and revisiting my old Xbox days. Mouse and keyboard on this will be very difficult for me in the long haul or the long run. All right, pretty easy. Pretty similar to so many uh, farming type sims we've played, right? Amazing job, Hannah. It won't take long for the soil to soak up all the hydration, so don't forget to maintain a regular watering routine. And now we're hungry. Burgle. Was that your stomach? Maybe. Laughter. There's no need to be embarrassed. It's normal to get hungry after doing farm work. Farming demands a lot of energy after all. It's easy to overwork yourself, so eat healthily. Eat healthy food regularly to prevent that from happening. Thankfully, I have just the energy boost you need. It's my specialty, apple pie. I just baked it this morning using fresh apples grown on my farm. Sweet. I like apple pie. Prefer Dutch apple pie. The pie is still nice and toasty. Eat it while it's hot. Can do. Well, I guess we're just going to eat. You ate the pie. How does it taste? Well, it's a little dry. Uh, would have been better with uh, Dutch apple pie flavoring. Um, like heaven. We want those friendship points, right? I'm laughter. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, we didn't get blob any. Whoops. I'm sorry, Loki. You have a name. 
Whoa, Loki's really hungry, Hannah. Why don't you see if it wants a bite of your pie? No, Loki can munch on some grass. Pie's mine. All right, never mind. Let's feed the blob. The blob interaction button. Ah, shift. I see. So now we can feed Loki. Gotcha. So simple, even an old idiot can play it. It makes me happy to see Loki warming up to you so quickly. Just like plants, blobs need lots of love and care to grow up healthy. Feeding them is one of the best ways to bond with them. If you want to learn more about blob care, you can talk to Flint. He can give you all sorts of helpful tints. Yes, Flint's the breeder. Well, we're all done learning the basics of farming, Hannah. Now that you know how to grow crops, you'll be able to make a living on your own. Here's my last gift to you for today, a pack of seeds to get you started. Well, that's mighty kind of her. You know who to go to if you need more, right? Yes, Amazon. Laughter. That's what I want to hear. I'm sure it is. She's probably buying them off Amazon. Oh, and before I forget, the mayor wanted to speak with you about something, so please visit him when you get the chance. It looks like you're all good to go now. Best of luck with everything, Hannah. Enjoy your new life here in Clovertown. And thus ends the farming tutorial, a new home. You need a roof over your head. Talk to the local carpenter, Sheroy, I'm guessing, about building a house to complete sleep in your house once it's built. Sounds reasonable. Uh, so these are quests. Talk to the mayor. It seems the mayor wants to talk with you about something. Visit him in his office, which is located on the town square near the fountain. We'll head right there. We know everything we need to get started. We can save the game at our tent at any time. It also saves automatically at the end of the day. And I think I'm going to continue it that way. Uh, okay, now it's Tuesday at 8 a.m. I wonder if there is a pause to the timer. I know there's a speed up. Well, that's okay. Let's go over and check our mail. Greetings from Clovertown's finest merchant. Should you find yourself in need of the highest quality goods the Valley offers, and I know you will, do visit our location in the town square. Okay, another quest. We need to visit the Clovertown's market slash general store, which is located in the town square near the fountain. Great. All right. So, heading on out. Oh, do, do we have a chest to put things in? We do. Magical storage. You can, access, you can access items in your magical storage across multiple locations. In build mode, all items from the magical storage are available in addition to the items in your bag. I like it. Too cool. So, can we move? Oh. Let's move that back. Well, actually, why do we need all that? Well, let's... We can just move all. Never know what we'll find on our journey. So let's escape on out of here and headed to the market. Round two. So what I had started to say was I will uh, continue, I think, doing one uh, episode per day for the demo. So it looks like we can uh, fast travel. Wow. Okay, I'm glad I looked at the sign. So there's fast travel in the game. Wonderful. Is there trash picking? Doesn't seem to be yet. Can we steal their stuff? Maybe. Will we? Absolutely, kind of, sort of. Okay. What, what? Oh, yeah. I see which ones now. I'm hoping we can sell these for uh, 
some profit. I see another one here. Can we steal their axe? Mm, not quite. Can we shake their apple trees? Or cherry, but it looks like apple. Oh yeah! I'm smelling money. Maybe I should have brought her axe. Maybe we could have cut their trees down. Yeah. Clover, maybe? Oh, and we could have dug their mud. All right. We'll be back. Maybe day two or something. Or, I mean, day three. We'll come back and loot their frickin' farm. Can't get through there. Denied. So we'll go this way. I wanted... I want that one. I want that one. Oh, I want that one too. And it, oh, is that our magical chest? Ho oh, ho ho ho. The game. Oh, we didn't have an axe yet, but we did have a shovel. So let's grab our shovel and uh, move it. Let's escape on out. Oh, what do we got? Oh, more stuff to collect. Okay, and dig, dig, dig. Might as well get some mud. Soil, sorry. Mud soil. Oh, see some up here? Very nice. That's enough for now. Let's uh, store. Oh, our magical storage seems full. Interesting. But our worm can still go over there, right? Worms don't stack? They do. Okay. Oh, it wasn't full. I thought I clicked E to move all. I must have been hitting a different button. Okay, so, wow, we have a lot to sell. Let's, uh, let's head on over a quest board. Not available in demo, that's fair enough. That's the Adventurers Club, okay. I see the time is slipping away. It's almost noon. Oh, there was more mud over there. Good to know. Two stacks at least. More over there. Something else to collect. Can we leave and... Uh, oh, we can. Okay. Well, where does this go? Is this the market? Hmm, I'll be right back on the mic. Just seeing how far we can go. Why wouldn't we? Can we get on a ship? No. Maybe that is too much to ask. Ooh. Angry blob. Oh, we can battle people. Huh. 
Oh, uh oh. I think Loki's got. Oh, wait. We got to battle two at the same time? And eh, we might be able to handle it. Let's try. Oh, we want to defend, right? Because the other person was going first. Blocked. And we couldn't defend this time. Seems rather unfair to battle two versus one, but I guess we asked for it, right? All right, continuing on. Looking for more stuff to sell. Lots of sand piles out here. That's a cool looking blob. Yes, I'm thinking the same thing. Can we swim? No, no we can't. Can we take that? No. Can we cook? We can. Interesting. Is this a shop? Doesn't appear to be. Hmm. Oh, for sale. Ah. Blacksmith. Oh, that's Roy where we're supposed to go for our new house. Snore. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yawn. Oz, why did you do that? I always have a good dream. Um, can I help you? Oh, wait, you must be Hannah. The mayor told me you were coming. I just didn't expect so. Yawn. Soon. It's okay. I'm glad you're here. I was worried Jade and Ruby were going to scare you into moving back to the city. I'm Shiroi, and I build things around Clovertown. It's nice to meet you. I have a few things to give you, so... Oh yeah, by the way, this is Oz. He's a bit of a troublemaker, so be careful around him. Anyway... Hopefully we got inventory space. Here, an axe for chopping wood and bushes, and a pickaxe for stones and ores. Sweet. They're not as strong as they could be right now, but I can upgrade them later if you bring me the right stuff. Now that you know what they're there for, now you know what they're for, don't go hitting anyone with them, alright? Yes, boss. 
I can get to work building your house once you gather the required materials. Things have been boring around here lately, but maybe you'll be the person to change things. Anyway, I'll be waiting here in case you have questions. That's all, so, um, bye. Wow, okay, we've been dismissed. And we got a skill point. Cool. Uh, build? Interested in building something? Oh, well, yes. A house, it seems. 500 coin, wood, stone, and fiber. Okay. Good to know. Let's cancel out. Change your mind. I'll be available for work if you need me. Thank you, Shiroi. Anything we steal? I mean, repurpose for our own profit? Seems not. How do you get out? E to leave. Nice. Okay, well, we found Shiroi. Okay, more land for sale, it appears. What's this building? Oh, it's not a building at all. The restaurant. The mayor's office. Perfect. Why, if it isn't Hannah. I've been expecting you. Please come in. Welcome to Clover Council Hall, where all decisions regarding Clover Town are formalized. This room once served as a conference Prince Hall for our founders who built our community from the ground up. To this day, the building remains as the official meeting place of the Clover Council. A great question and one I expected you would ask. The council is still alive and well, though it looks very different than it did back then. What was once a 13-member organization is now a single-member one. That sole member is... Me. Disappointed, are you? I can understand why. At its peak, the Clover Council were quite the remarkable force. How and why their numbers reduced over time is a long story better suited for another time. I understand. Uh, I understand. Unfortunately, Armel and I have business to attend to, so I'll make the point of this visit as short as possible. I have a request for you, Hannah. I want you to take some time to introduce yourself to the fellow townspeople. As you're new here, it's important that you find your place in our little community. What better way to do that than by setting a good impression on your neighbors? Who knows, you might end up meeting someone you'll form a special bond with. Anyway, that was all I wanted to ask of you. Good luck and take care. Okay, new quest. The mayor wants us to introduce uh, all 13 befriend befriendable characters. We can use the map to see where they are. And uh, the, that's a nice feature, saying the mayor will show up and we don't have to find him the next day. Cool. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Denied. Okay. Clinic. Nice. And the courier. We'll check that another time. It's getting late in the day. Um, let's see if we can sell. Take our time browsing. Not seeing an option to sell. Yeah. I can't get over to our inventory, so I'm assuming uh, this is not the place to sell. 
Okay, well, escape. Yes, we changed our mind. Sorry, Lynn. You don't want to buy our junk, we don't want to buy yours. And I ate that when I meant to inspect it. Oh, it's a donation booth. In celebration of Founder's Day, please donate your clovers here. Sure, let's donate a clover. We donated some clovers. Oh, what's over here? Lots of uh, land to buy. Nope, oh, we're stuck. Ryan? Cream? I think we're supposed to meet them all, aren't we? How could Ryan name that cute little kiwi blob Brian? It's basically his own name with B in front. I always tell myself to stop thinking about it, but I can't, and it makes my blood boil. Kooky kooky, let me your comb. Ooh! I didn't mean to stare. I was just... never mind. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Lynn, and I come from a family of florists. But I also play the flute. It helps my flowers grow better, I think. Please take this. Only if you want to, of course. Oh, that was nice of her. But now our inventory's full. Anyway, feel free to browse what I have for sale. I'll be here if you have any questions. Um, do we... No, we didn't check this place out. James, stop! Get back here at once. Stop, or my mom will shoot. Butterfly blob, huh? And a puppy blob? My sincerest apologies for disturbing you. James, did you catch her? Oh. Ouch. Rude. Or bashful. Hello there. I don't think I've seen you around before. My name is Lazuli. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah, that's such a lovely name. It's very nice to meet you, Hannah. This is my darling little Belle. She may seem innocent, but she can be quite the troublemaker. So, um, would you like to come inside for tea, Hannah? I'm not sure that's a good idea, Lady Azuli. Or Azuli. But if I can, in is the least we could do after Belle caused so much trouble. Yeah, she bumped into me. That's unforgivable. That's true. See the butler? Pardon my hesitation, Hannah. You're always welcome to come inside. Please come in, Hannah. There's so much I want to talk about. After you. This is getting creepy. I'm getting some weird vibes. Wow, Hannah, you're a farmer. That's amazing. It would be wonderful if you could show me around your home one day. It must be beautiful. I'd love to learn everything about raising crops and blobs. Maybe I could even help you with farm work. <laughs> yes. I will Tom Sawyer you with that farm work. Oh, perhaps we could even... Uh, something. Headache? Little Zula. Are you alright? I'm fine. Just a bit lightheaded. She doesn't have the countenance. My deepest apologies, Anna. But Layla Zulai needs to return to her room. I'm sorry, Hannah. Promise you'll visit me again soon. Yeah, I was wanting to slide on out of here anyway. I'll look forward to your next visit then. Take care, Hannah. As you can see, Layla Zulai's health isn't very good. 
Her condition keeps her housebound most days, so she tends to get lonely. Aw, I said. Spot and I can only do so much for her. Even Belle does little to soothe the loneliness in her heart these days. Could I trouble you to keep Lady Lazuli company once in a while? Can you trouble to pay me? Thank you, Hannah. Feel free to visit wherever you wish. Our door is always open for you. Yeah, I'm not doing it for free. Quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. Let's get the hell out of here. Leave. Oh. Reoriented. Nice house. Want to trade? Well, can I ring the doorbell at least? I guess not. Did we talk to this? Yeah, that's kooky. I remember her. Hmm, guess we'd have to change our orientation like this. There we go. Do I have to talk to all these mopes? Oh, yeah. You know, that Ryan guy is pretty cute. Fit, too. Let's just say he's qualified to be endorsed by the Clovertown Hotties Club. Jeez. Oh, goody. It's been forever since we had another cute guy to discuss at our meetings. Guess we've got lots to talk about at our next one. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, aren't you ashamed of yourselves? <laughs> sure, why not? What? Why should we be? Yeah, what's wrong with loving and supporting Clover Town's hotties? Who invited you in conversation anyway? Get lost. All right, fair enough. Oh, it's just Jade again. Sorry, Jade. Oh wait, will she buy her junk? Our farm might look small, but it produces a bountiful harvest on a regular basis. We grow so many crops that we have to deliver several carts worth of produce to town all the time. Wow, you braggart. As you can see, today is another delivery day for me and Clara. So maybe you should be helping me with my farm. Uh, let's see if we can sell. Well, no, but maybe you need something from me. Yeah, I, I don't see a way to sell. Hmm. Okay, well, fair enough. I'll be here if you change your mind. Come on, Blob. This way, right? Farm. Let's... Go spend a little energy before we go to bed. Um, number one. Try to get a house soon. As soon as we figure out how to make money. Seem as good. Oh, we 
are exhausted. Oh, we can still pick that up. And that. And that. Something in our mailbox here? Hmm, it's not let me answer, not let me look at it. There's something the flags up, but I can't get in the mailbox. It's because I have something in my hand. Mm, no. Well, I think that will do it for day two. We've run out of energy. We've met some people. We've explored. We've uh, pilfered a little, maybe, and uh, we got our butts beat in a battle. Maybe day three we can figure out how to make some coin. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts of the game are. I'm really enjoying it, but I think I'd like to be using a controller in the future. Bye.